Hello everyone, and this is Panzer Journal 2, let's play some scenarios. Where I play some scenarios on maps that were not included in the original campaign or those that I might have missed. Um, while I play through the original campaign for both the Germans and the Allies. Um, well, for this LP, I'm going to try to play the former the, of the maps that were not included but the developer generously decided to include it probably for interest's sake or they deemed it significant enough that it basically rounds out the scope of the war better and that is none other than Cauldron based on the North African campaign this is where Romo first gained his nickname Desert Fox and probably this is the battle where he garnered the nickname I don't know whether the Germans gave it to him or the British that were handed a stinging defeat by him However, this is a mission where I have to play the Commonwealth forces or the British Empire then uh, leading a British 8th army trying to take the positions that they thought were mostly manned by the Italians but Roman's armor reinforced them very quickly in the span of one afternoon was able to drive them back uh, in a rather stunning fashion. So June 5th, 1942, we're kind of going back uh, in time from where I was the last time uh, when I was playing the Greece mission, I think that is a bit later, but I want to just go through the... Well, I'm not so sure if I really planned it, I didn't really plan it, but I want to just go through the German, British, and then the Russians. If they're Americans, I probably played the American mission before, but then I think yeah, the order of things that I do is uh, going to be like that. I don't want to play, you know, two German scenarios uh, back to back, uh, although that might help me because I mean, I'll be more familiar with the armors and units. Um, but I wanted to try this because, surprisingly enough, this mission, of course, I tried it and was not able to achieve even, a, you know, even the most lowest form of victory. I failed every single time, was not able to do it. But the silver lining is that the mission is rather short, or the victory condition is just too short, painfully short. Four turns for a brilliant victory, uh, and then the six and eight thereafter, and then basically handing me the loss that I always ended up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I Probably this is going to be a fail LP or the LP where I just show you the defeat, trying different tactics. And I tried different tactics, of course, but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's the far cry from uh, the Mopile, which I thought was pretty difficult, but this is a whole different ball game. So let's go into it, shall we? Um, so this is when the British 8th Army wanted to, I guess, take back Tobruk after being driven out of there. But, um, I'm not so sure about the history. But apparently they call it Cauldron, Cauldron, and it is pretty apt description because it's a uh, desert sun basically baking the desert, and uh, into that inhospitable environment and pretty flat, so they cannot really entrench themselves as well. They were basically easy pickings for the Rommel's armor, it seems. So let's go and try to at least achieve a tactical victory, which is six turns. Oh, so I was wrong. So it was. Not even 6 and 8, uh, but it's 5 and 6 turns for the brilliant victory or the victory conditions. The layout of the map is pretty simple. Uh, you use only a very small section of the map, which is a quarter of the map. Um, a bit more than a quarter of the map. But you have only two objectives to capture. And one is a supply point, I guess, where the Germans bring in their armor for the Africa Corps. And the Italians for holding really tough in the middle of the desert, but I guess flanked by a bit of a kind of a dunes, I guess higher ground. I mean, desert is not all flat, of course, but yeah, and there are roads that lead to these objectives. Uh, but one could be what I could call a red herring or path that should not be taken uh, at your peril. Yeah, so I need to move all these troops, primarily composed of Indian troops, surprisingly enough. Um, I guess this is before the Australians, or they brought the Indians from the east. Uh, but I need to move the Indians first. They're well experienced, with two barracks experience, but mm, nothing much else. And I have one engineer. And of course, Creaser 2 tanks, which are pretty decent against the armor, so I need to remember that to use it against the hard target. But not much else. Well, it does have a pretty plentiful supply of ammo, so I guess that is a plus. Um, the tip, well, I guess the gist, well, not the gist, but then the tactic or strategy that 
is going to be most useful is to use the numbers first and use the Indians to surround the uh, German armor and try to basically overrun them with the tanks supported by the artillery which is pretty decent against the infantry so this is kind of rock paper scissors gone to heck and back it is on steroids I need to be very careful to manage the balance of the composition of the troops at any one particular segment of the broad front that I'm going to create or else they're going to just the AI is not kidding around they will exploit little uh, gaps and destroy uh, my army from the rear probably that's what normal did that's what's going to happen probably for a few turns at least I wisen up but let's start with the uh, as uh, it is um, advisable recon I have a pretty good idea where all the placements are there are two artilleries in the middle I'm sorry to have that spoiled for you um, but yeah you're going to see it a lot um, so okay let's see so there's an Italian yeah, defender who and despite the stats has two x bars experience and no slouch they're all by their lonesome with just waiting for the Germans to come and there is that first artillery Italian artillery not really great against armor so that kind of invites the you know armor to progress very quickly and to serve as a spearhead for our army the one and one so let's just do it because this is just so limited in terms of time if I lose one unit I mean I guess I decreased the entrenchment so I guess in a way I have accomplished an objective but I'm not so sure what to actually do what is the key that is going to determine the success of this mission because I'm not was not able to find that combination of strategy or finesse to even achieve a victory tactical victory so it's going to be pretty difficult yeah let's move the artillery up so that Italian artillery Italian infantry is going to be of no concern in the next turn and the engineers, the best infantry that I have. Um, I guess the engineers have an organic transport which is, which is a truck and they could definitely transport themselves rather quickly to the front but they have a lot of good defenses here and uh, you cannot really expect to you know, make this guy I guess point man in terms of your offense. It has to be the tanks. Alright, so I moved all my troops. And yeah, let's go, and then there's no turning back here. Alright, let's just check the recursion unit for interest sake. So, this is desert. And desert, I believe, kind of limits the kind of the reinforcement that you can get, even with no uh, enemies surrounding it. So this will provide a constant stream of prestige that I will need to kind of shore up the infantry as they get damaged pretty badly by the German uh, infantry and also the tanks. Alright, so let's go. Four turns. Wow. Yeah, I wonder who... I mean, who can achieve victory in four turns here? Impossible. And there you go. The Africa Corps has arrived. No time too soon for the Italians. And these are pretty experienced and they are pretty... You know, I guess in that era, 1942, pretty advanced tanks with a really good amount of initiative and also, yeah, 8 initiative basically dwarfs that of the Crusader 2s I think I have. Um, and um, yeah, they're all around great tanks, so I need to be very careful and try to surround them as much as possible. Alright, so it's kind of hard to tell who are the Italians, but here they are, right in the middle. I need to be very careful in how to dispense their artillery shells. Yeah, let's give one to these guys. And I have to kill advancing, that is the hardest part. While trying to manage the, the damage, so... I have to be very quick about this. And I guess I just try to concentrate all my guys I mean, first destroying a single, single unit. Rather than trying to spread our damage, I guess potential for damage apart. 
And uh, here is another... Um, well, I can probably move this guy and then try to apply some more damage before I can overrun this. Three, not bad. And uh, I can probably overrun it. So this is what you have to do. Use infantry to fill the gaps and damage the units. Basically with every single unit that you have. You cannot let one unit sit idly by. It has to apply the damage in every single turn. So the right now, I think I am at a point where I have to decide whether to provide a barrier here. A barrier here to serve as a cover for the artillery. Or try to advance uh, in, the, in the direction of the fire their artillery uh, to try to pressure them. But I think I will just try to keep pace with the rest of the guys and uh, stick together. And uh, well, I have to make a decision here uh, whether to um, yeah whether to damage this guy. I think I will try this. Maybe it's really rash, but yeah, I have to do it because it's supported. Yeah, didn't really work out for me, but uh, well, I mean, I do give them a bit of zone of defense so they can just go right across the desert and try to ambush us from the rear or something like that, but they will come um, and try to do that. Alright, so let's try to form a bit of a line here. Keep using the recon to see what's up ahead in the road, which the engineer is going to use. Uh, probably going to stay rather close here because I don't want to like, overextend my troops. Supported by the artillery. Uh, the artillery is probably not going to support anybody here because the tank is going to obviously attack this guy. And also, yeah, it's going to attract the attention of uh, Recon. So I think the artillery is going to move uh, here as well. Uh, move forward. And um, there is a... There's a remote chance that the Germans will try to just bypass us and capture our sand objective here, supply point, which is going to be immediate defeat for us. So I keep the one Indian guy in the back, just in case, or with organic transport. So able to, you know, flexibly uh, provide a bit of a, I guess, combination of reserve and also the rear guard uh, and to try to defend at the same time, which is no small feat. Alright, so let's do that, and um, yeah, alright, so they are attacking from this, this side, which is very smart, because they are trying to split our forces, at least the tank forces, in the middle, and this is not good, and um, yeah, the tank is coming here, and then they yeah, definitely made their entrance known, so what I should do is try to um, make this guy reinforce, but then before I do that, I want to keep my tank alive, just concentrate all my firepower on the tank here um, because they're blocking my pathway for the infantry and uh, yeah I need to just keep plugging away with the infantry you know, with the Indians doesn't matter just have to keep plugging away and then I think it does make a bit of a difference but I don't know how this guy is going to fare well it's a stalemate surprisingly enough and uh, yeah uh, this guy will uh, I don't know whether this guy will be effective yeah, I don't know, so I just brought him back. Uh, 1 and 4. Yeah, okay. 1 and 4, so if it's 3 and it starts running away, 6 and 1, almost destroyed. So that's a surprising part here. I can... Um, I don't know why the tank has suffered so much damage after the battle estimates said that it's not going to really dent it much, but it did apparently. So the damage was done and I was able to destroy the tank here. So yeah, it's a really good job well done, but perhaps my tank here is going to make a beeline for the artillery after knowing that uh, they are like three of them right here in the back. So what I have to do is try to block them best as possible. Well, keep advancing. Yeah, advance, advance. So I need to advance and see what is up. Yeah, you can see there's a more powerful German gun here with four range, so that is going to be a thorn in our side. Uh, yeah, and they're going to, it's going to oversee and support this artillery, so I need to push them with the armor. Okay, so what can this guy do? Well, this guy can just stay around here. And has five shots, and, um, 
All right, so let's bring up the artillery somewhat. Form the line here, and this guy... Well, I think I have no choice but to move this guy and to try to form a line and bring it for my artillery. My artillery is going to just move up. Uh, yeah, move up like here, and this artillery is going to move up here. Yeah, let's try to... Oh, I cannot really do much damage here. Yeah, because of the artillery range is so great here that I cannot do anything. Uh, perhaps I can move my engineer here, but yeah, that's probably the best I can do in terms of limiting the damage while advancing. Too bad about this tank, which is out of commission for, I guess, one or two turns. But I need to destroy this artillery in the next turn and then go to the floor steps of this uh, Italian objective. Yeah, so requisition is 110, which is, I guess, decent as far as the reinforcing our units are concerned. Yeah, alright. Yep. There was... Zero, zero. Alright, he's running away, which is also a big problem. And there's the Italian recon. There's so many armor. I would say the British seem to have more units in the beginning, but in terms of armor, the Germans have the British... They have the advantage over, you know, by two or three times. And I had to destroy this uh, tank. Uh, and already the this is turn for brilliant victory. I don't know how people will be able to achieve brilliant victory. I don't know how. I don't know how they achieve it. It's it's just I don't know. I just can't fathom how how they will be able to do it. So yeah, it, uh, well almost, almost, but not enough. Alright, so uh, I bring the my infantry here. Oh, not going to work at all. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm kind of stimid here. Uh, yeah, I guess this will provide a bit of a yeah, routine down of the strength of the tank. Perhaps. And I guess I need to move this guy here. Try to fight this guy here and then um, maybe if I push him away to this guy then I'll be able to destroy it. 4 and 4? Nope. Not enough. Oh this is really bad. Okay I thought I was able to destroy him but nope. Alright let's continue with the Indians. And uh, did I exhaust this guy? Yeah I exhausted this guy and I guess I have a bit more freedom or advantage going up against this tank. I did, but I wasn't able to do much and uh, the desert is basically blocking me from doing anything. Which is very... Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I can do anything. <laughs> anything useful. Uh, yeah. And this guy... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what? So slow for some reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. This is not going well. Although I did not lose any troops or something like that. Yeah. Oh man, I thought this was going to be overrun. Oh boy, yeah, they're all coming. So I need to uh, destroy this tank first. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's brilliant. Uh, can I destroy any of these guys? No. Well, let's just go for just full sweep of the German Axis armor. That worked well. And let's see if I can see what is up here in terms of defense. Nothing much, so I can come back and proceed to just keep. Okay, so maybe this guy is not going to do, going to last a whole lot. All right, so the engineer is going to uh, just try to stay here. Well, there's nothing there, so I will try to go as fast as possible. Uh, this guy is going to definitely tattoo me, or they'll not be able to see me. Hopefully not. But I have to make a risk. The calculated risk, of course. But I need to move past their line of defense. And uh, what kind of gun that I can bring here? Uh, I 
can bring it against this guy, another pesky Italian recon. And um, yeah, this has a range to this place, which is just humongous. Alright, so let's try to get this guy out. Um, perhaps I can destroy this guy first. Get it down. Nope, okay, so it has to destroy this first. Nice, overrun it. And overrun once again. Okay, it worked very really well. And I go and... Uh, okay, I need to make a decision here. I can try to go up against this guy. And I think I should. While the tank here is going to move down. Yeah, no time for uh, further reinforcing. Uh, because there's no time, no time at all. So I will have to sacrifice this guy. You know, just adding all the little advantage that I have. Yeah, didn't really work out that well, but it does add up like that right now. It did add up. It's destroying now. Right, two apiece. And maybe I can overrun. Yes. So this tank is an MVP. Hopefully it gains a leader or something, but didn't. No matter. Alright, so what I have to do is now form a line as close as it possible and swamp them. Swamp them with Indians. I mean, I do feel that there has to be some sort of consideration for their lives. But the, the Indians will have to just, just rush, rush, rush. Just swamp them because all the armors are now gone. And they cannot kill every one of us, right? <laughs> That's what I have to do, and this guy will just stay back, just in case. And the artillery will bring itself forward. Uh, there's no other choice but to do that. Okay, and there's also another artillery here. Uh, and um, in two turns, can I make it? I don't know, maybe... If my tank can move and be at the place at the second objective here, then I'll be able to do it. But if I can't, if this tank cannot make it, then I'll be, uh, you know, SOL, out of luck. Alright, so, uh, how was my... 174? Okay, but it's too late to bring any new units I need to reinforce. Okay, let's see what kind of hellish things that they're gonna unleash on us. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. And now Germans are trying to uh, move, but... Oh, it's the last... No, I don't think I can make it. It was a good try, though, but... Just a bit too late. Yeah. Yeah, there's a German infantry there. Bit too late. Yeah, it's gonna destroy it, but too late. Alright, so the recon is have to going to have to see one is up. Okay, one of them and one of them for this guy. Four and five. Okay, I think I can take this point, but yeah, it's just too hard. Uh, overrun, yeah, okay. So that much I was able to do. But the rest is not really working out. And I can see what is up here, probably. The Indians will... Okay. Yeah, it's too late. Too late. Too bad. I can only move this guy out of the point here, probably, yeah. So, again, the Furic. A meaningless capture of the Italian objective. If I only had two more, um, two more turns, I would be able to achieve the victory, but... Not now, not today. Okay, can I... Yeah. So, I mean, there are only three units probably left for the Germans. Uh, yeah, but I was not able to do it, so... Too bad. Yeah, there's artillery. Damage was pretty bad. Yeah, insult injury, allied loss. Yeah, so, oh man, okay, so let me try this once again. What could be something that I can do different here? Uh, be more aggressive, I guess. Be more aggressive from the start? Hmm, that is 
something I can do. Let me try. Be more aggressive. Yeah, that's something I can try, but I don't know. I mean, if I can take this road as well, so should I try to take the road? Just divide the forces up? Yeah, maybe I should do that this time. But I tried to divide my forces the, um, the first time, and really didn't work out too well. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, the infantry is rather useful in going up against the tanks, and if I do not have enough infantry. But what I know is that the tanks are coming from the north. So this is better experiment uh, to do some different tactics or strategy. The Italians have two recons, Germans have I think one recon and two tanks. Yeah, there you go, a tank can move. So this is uh, yeah, basically a lost cause I think I'll be in a very bad way. Maybe I can tie up the tank, um, I don't know, with the Indians. With two infantry now and um, try to go up, um, change directions. And there is that, uh, yeah. I'll probably finish him off, nice. Do I get defense? Oh, come on. Alright, Rogan defense in desert. Yeah, I've seen it now everything. Probably they were better entrenched, so. Uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, I don't want to go with the tank. And destroy the artillery. Okay, cool. Now, yeah, the artillery is destroyed pretty quickly. Nice. And now what I can do is uh, try to harass these guys. There will be another tank coming here, probably. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, too bad I cannot destroy it. I can probably destroy it by default if I'm careful. Uh, perhaps not. Alright, so following the road allows the Indians to shoot after moving. Uh, let's see what is uh, what they have here. Yeah, they are bringing up their regulars. This guy will run away, which is going to be a thorn in our side for the rest of the match. Alright, three turns left. I can't believe that was the first turn. Or well, second turn, I guess, was. Now they're going up. Yeah, now they're going up and uh, they're trying to... I don't know how the... Well, tanks can definitely travel really far, so I guess that's something. Uh, I want to see what's up here. Okay, let's sneak by. Okay, not really much going on. Yeah, let's sneak. Let's sneak by. Hit them from the back. That's right. This is what I... Uh, maybe it's gonna work, but maybe it's gonna end up in a spectacular failure. It could happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I can do is uh, maybe concentrate on this guy. I mean, that's the only thing the archer can aim at. Not that one. Oh my goodness. And perhaps use the tactic that I used before, which is try to uh, overrun them by allowing them no escape. Probably this is gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Dang it. Alright, I think the engineer has to also join the four right here. Yeah, let's destroy this first. Come on, get destroyed. Nice. Okay. The way it was not overrun. Alright, so what can I do? I cannot do anything. Uh, but I can destroy this guy, I think. Maybe. No, I cannot. Alright, so let's be safe and yeah, just get that thing done and use our infantry here. Uh, maybe I was a bit too rash. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't no, think they can target me. Alright, so the tank is uh, going up against the armor. Yeah, let's just go up against the armor. Um, but the little contingent here is trying to 
surround them. So let's see what's going to happen. This is really interesting. Uh, yeah, let's try to surround these guys as well with the Indians. Okay, alright. Well, so it turns around. But they're kind of antsy. Yeah, they're trying to now aim back. So this guy is kind of free, but this Indian is in real big trouble. Yeah, okay, all pretty good there. But this guy maybe is in trouble. Yeah, he's in trouble. So now, uh, this guy is in here and... Uh, can I go up and kill them? No, I can't, but I can... Okay, I can shoot at them. And there's a recon raiding the wings. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, yeah, so what I can do is just try to go up. Try to go up. I don't think the artillery here is going to be able to reach here. Yet. Uh... Yeah. No, let's don't even try. Alright. So, the tank has made its uh, <laughs> entrance, and uh, I'm here to maybe get this guy off, or maybe even destroy it. Possibly, I can. Okay, no I can't. Can I? Nice. So I'm going to surround this guy, obviously, and try to destroy them. Let's try it. Grand 4. One. Okay, so something can be suppressed. I can do something from damage here. Alright, 4 and 2. Alright. Now I can overrun. Wow, cool. That is something that I really wanted happen to happen. Now these guys can go right up on the, this guy's grill and let's overwhelm them. Because the tanks are gone. Well, this tank is alive still, so I need to be very careful. Uh, let's try to uh, protect this artillery. Yeah, okay. Um, I, need to, I think I need to move though. Because that is what I have to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not really happy about the current arrangement. Terrain 1. I need to do this. Oh no, that is really bad result. Bad result, uh oh, I, I might have to press it. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. I made a terrible mistake, that could have been the clincher. Yep. That could have been the clincher. And uh... Yeah, that could have been it. But I didn't make it, so... This guy need to move also, uh, maybe here. No, this guy is gonna cause some damage. Maybe he's gonna overrun this. Then I be in very bad position. Okay, so very eventful turn, but yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. I need some. Yeah, that is. Okay. Indian guys gone. Eight and two. What was that? Oh, that was uh, artillery. So that's bad. Okay, artillery is gone. And that was a mistake. Ah, that sucks. On the bright side, maybe I'll be able to turn the point, perhaps? Um, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I can turn the point. Yeah, I just play this out. Fine, okay, so this is his first. It's good. But I don't think I can capture the point. I really suffered too much damage. No artillery in sight. Let's just... Okay. That's not all I wanted to do, but alright, whatever. Let's do the same thing and riddle them down by attrition. That is a good... That's pretty good. Promising. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, it's okay. It's okay. Going to be pretty crazy next turn. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, so last turn. At least I have some bodies now. 
Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Right. Point two, it doesn't matter. Wow, this is a bloodbath. Yeah, providing the control. Very smart. This guy is gone too. Yeah. I uh, hope they was able to at least damage Donald. Yes, we, yeah. Uh, Alright, so last turn, so who cares about that tank anymore? Ah, uh, get out of there. Then my uh, infantry take it. No. Ah, oh, it was not to be. Yeah. Yeah, so let's start once again. Really hard mission. So the plan, uh, while, I mean, was promising, uh, but didn't work. Uh, the splitting of forces didn't work, and um, well, I tried this, taking this path once, in the north. I tried splitting up the forces, uh, and then, I guess that's the way to go, isn't it? There are two pathways, but I'm not so sure. Uh, I not, I don't think I can try to take all my forces on the south, because um, maybe I should try that. Did I try that? I don't think it's gonna work, but let's try it. Let's try this. It's really real advice because I'm trying to bypass this initial Italians, but I don't think the Italians will just sit idly by and, you know, I mean, they're gonna be just capturing this point. So I need to leave one Indian guy here, but I don't know whether that's going to be as useful as having one body in the front. Yeah, okay, so artillery also has to take the road. Last attempt, uh, they were able to quickly travel down. I mean, desert is no problem. It's basically open field for the tank, so. Alright, I don't know whether this is gonna work, uh, but. Yeah. Just little things, uh, just little things, little details. Yeah, the guys are going. I saw some um, of these guys going to directly toward the supply point. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's the entirety of the defense. So I'm trying to just go through, just blast through this area, but I don't know how well it's gonna work. Yeah. The tank has to be spearhead. Infantry will help. Um, yes, infantry would. This guy will stay here. And shoot. 5 and 3, Bobber run, nice. Okay, alright, no problems there. Now, the armor has to go the next turn without fail to destroy this artillery. Uh, while the infantry is going to be bogged down by the, the armor, but I think that might work. Might. Uh, might. I'm going to receive the possibility of the armor right here, so I'm going to just amass my forces, just prepare for a bit of a ad hoc defense right here, yeah, like this. Engineer is just going to stay back because I'm kind of afraid of the infantry, the infantry is going to show up and be a thorn our side. Back like here, yeah. Come on. Two and two. Dang it. So powerful. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, at least I know where the units are. Five and five. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Alright. Let's hit them back. Okay. Okay, so out of range of the 10 minutes carry, so that's good. Overrun, nice. And concentrate my firepower or go for the go for the artillery. Go for the artillery. Next turn. But I'll be closer here. 
Okay, uh, two tanks. Okay, that's good. Nice, out of the range. That's promising. This guy get replaced. Uh, yeah, keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can actually aim at artillery. I will do that. Doesn't matter. 0.5, nice. Okay. No, doesn't matter. And I can aim at this guy. 1 and 2. Alright. 4 and 2, nice. Okay. There was some RNG that worked in my favor. Now I. I think I can use my eyes to just travel as far as possible with the organic and then bring the engineers to this place. But it doesn't really matter, I mean, I mean engineers just are great in the fact that they have a higher stat. Ignoring of entrenchment, definitely helpful, it's not going to be of use here. Alright, let's just prepare for everything. Regular, regular Indian, okay. Alright, so my lone Indian guy is going to serve as a... I don't know how it's going to work well. Alright, so they have... Nice. Yeah, there you go, another tank. Damn it. The price. Good, good. 7-3, yes. Alright, now I have to destroy one tank. Without fail. Or I can concentrate. Okay, so I can aim... Oh, okay, that's not good. Alright. Uh, yeah, aim at this guy first. Aim at the second guy here. I think I'll be able to do it. Just general attack. Final one, that is very good. I can destroy this guy. Uh, can I move up with that guy? Yeah, this is Indian. Destroy it. Oh my god, you useless Indians. God dang it. Ah, uh, shoot. Damn it. Okay, that worked. That worked at least. Uh, yeah, let's just try to pump this thing. <laughs> Come on, get destroyed. Come on, get destroyed. Yes! Worked. Not use this anymore. Okay, so I can travel. Well, I lost my guy, so I will be careful here. Um, maybe I can travel like this. And... Ah, well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just, just push forward. I don't want the Indians to get in, you know, in a place where it has no way of escape. Possibly, it's going to get overrun. This guy has no other access. Yeah, okay, fine. I don't care. Let's go up. And this guy is a very important unit. Uh, I'm kind of worried about. Well, let's just place this guy here. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Two. Okay, let's make it worse for them. Kill them. Nice. Okay, so that defense is just beautiful, beautiful Indian defense right there. I love them Indians. Alright, yep. Yeah. Didn't really work there. Didn't it? It's gonna overrun probably. Nope. Ah, didn't overrun though. So. Ah, yeah. So how long do I have? Oh, two turns. <laughs> Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Okay, so can I destroy the tank? I might be. Maybe I destroy this artillery. No. Fail. General fail. Failment is very strong in this one. General failment is very strong. I should hit it with the artillery first.
Damn it. Yeah, once again, just a few turns short. Once again, a few turns short. <sighs> Dang it. Just a few turns short. Six. Oh, okay. It's promising. Okay, nice. Okay, it's promising. It's promising. If I rush everything in my power. Uh, this guy, dang it, stands in the way. Yeah, it might be too late though. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, last turn. Damn it, yeah, last turn. There we go. Maybe my artillery can open the space, but it's too late. I mean, it's too late. Look at that, we can't even, oh, we can attack, but we can attack twice, I think. I need some, uh, damn it. Come on, Irene! Push me away! God dang it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, but I'll try it. Because this is the closest as I've gotten. Ay, ay, ay. Open the doors, open the windows. Oh, destroyed it outright. Now it's all open. I need one more turn. One more turn. It's too much to ask. Forget. Can I get killed? Yeah, can I even attack? Damn it! Now I can move, but too late. Oh. Yeah. One more turn was needed, but. You know what? I think the artillery. The tip for artillery is that they have to stay on the road at all times. Okay, so I learn things every day, every mission. That was pretty useful. I mean, that is... That is possible. Let's move the artillery first. No, I cannot do that. Uh... Yep. Let's move the artillery first. I don't think it's gonna work. It's going to be too much. Use the uh, armor. Use the infantry. Yeah, I mean... Maybe the Italians will be surprised the second time around. Possibly. Just breaking out. Just pedal to the metal. Alright, so artillery stays on the road. Yeah, let's see how that strategy works out. Rather simple, but to the point. Yeah, it's definitely very badly destroyed there. But since artillery stays on the road, can shoot at the tank. Wow, what a difference it makes. Um, well, not much of a difference. Yeah, the RNG didn't really like it. Uh, yeah, the tank can shoot and displace. Um, here, I guess. And. Try to shoot at the guy, the tank, I mean. Here, one five, I like that. Doesn't matter. Seven and three, how do you do? Um, 
Can I follow them and destroy it? Or am I? Ugh. Well, yeah, let's do it. This can move still. Where can it move though? Here, yes. The artillery is kind of blocked, so I need to get this guy out of the way. Oh man, too bad I cannot. Too bad I cannot, you know, get this guy. Tank. It's going to be in the range, so. Artillery, just move up. Stay on the road. might have to work. So desert works on them as well, so I don't think they'll be able to replace as quickly unless they run away. Uh, I think they will run away because the damage has been too great. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, oh boy, that's not good. Nice, nice. This is still made, but yeah, I think he's gonna die. This guy is gonna die, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, second tank comes down. And yeah, that guy found out where my guys are. Damn it. I need to yeah, tattoo them a bit. At least pressure these guys. Right for like that. And overrun possibly. Overrun? Possible, yes, it is possible. And let's try to destroy the tanks. One. The infantry has to be involved. Uh, I want to get this guy down a peg. Four and three, not bad. Over one? No. The infantry is really strong. You have to overrun this guy. But fail. Come on, overrun! Yes! And, uh, yes, I think I should. Nice, okay. And... Infantry... Two and one. Okay. Can I destroy this guy? Hmm. No. Let's move this guy a bit down first. Uh it's not the road. So I need to move out of the way of these guys. I don't wanna go up against the artillery with the infantry, so I guess infantry will stay there. It's for a few turns. Uh, they're kind of congested. Uh, yeah, fine. Okay, let's just throw them. Throw them into the fire. Throw them into the cauldron. I don't really feel good about it. <sighs> yeah, they got it. Stay strong. Stay strong. Oh, God. congested. Maybe the right uh, thing to do is to divide up the force. I now have a rather good idea what to do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but I have a pretty good idea what to do. Damn it. Nothing, okay, good, good. Target this guy's. Three, nice, okay. Nice, alright, finally. Open. Kinda of open. Okay. 
Open the door, open the way. Come on, open the way. This artillery needs to go somewhere. Come on. Last turn. Well, it's pretty good progress, surprisingly. But I'm really afraid of that uh, they're going somewhere. Okay. Don't lose. Ah, of course. Comes back. Okay. So I had a change of heart there. And now, make sure that I don't get ambushed. Good. That is uh, very good. Nice. Nice. Very good. And attacking. Okay. Sure that you can do it. Uh let's, let's spread out. Yes, okay, so this is what I wanted. Open the door, open the way. Uh, I think the German guy kinda of ran away for some reason. But yeah, I will try to get them. From here. Perhaps he's gonna come back, but the Indian guy will keep watch. Uh, while the yeah, the armor is going to just try to um, yeah, metal them down a bit. The Indian guy has to hold though. Maybe I can give them a bit of a support. 16th Street, nice. Yeah, I may have to give them a bit of support here. Uh, bring in um, some guy. Australian. Let's bring Australians. Why not? No. Yeah, let's fight against this common foe. Nice, okay. So I think the defense there has been more or less set. How many? Two turns left, I think. I'm careful I'll be able to do it. Yeah, if I'm careful. So, this guy's coming. Alright. Okay, what is he trying to do? They're trying to double team me. That would have been pretty bad. Alright, push him away. I place to go. Alright, I think I'll be able to win this mission. Think. Emphasis on think. How many turns left? Oh no, I don't think I can make it. Alright. I need to be very careful with this. Uh I will attack using this tank. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Come on, push him away. No, not enough. Can you do it? Can you do it, Indians? Yes. No! That was it. Alright, so... This time... I will bring all the artillery down but with a few Indians and all the, you know, special, I guess, British troops. But the tanks will go up north with a few Indians as well. So let's see how that works. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but it was kind of congested there, so... I'm kind of thinking that if I bring a little less troops, then I'll be able to bring these guys to the fore rather quickly. Let's bring these guys up here this time. With the rest of the guys. Indians, to be exact. And I don't think I yeah, will be putting any defensive guys there. Yeah, alright. So let's see how this fares. Okay, that takes my artillery. Yeah, so it's, uh, I don't think that works.
Oh yeah, just swamp them. Turn one. Alright, so easy pickings for this recon. Good. Alright, so it wasn't that bad. As I first thought. Alright. Yeah, pretty strong position here. Yeah, I have no complaint. Well, here, uh... Well, let's try to overrun this guy. There'll be a tank or something coming. Yeah, there's a tank. Yes. Good. And I will whittle these guys down one by one. Wow, okay, not bad, actually. Uh, yeah, why don't you get this guy? Oh man, okay, it was worth it. It was worth it, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> if I can overrun this guy. Yeah, possibly overrun it. Yeah, good. Oh, can I move? Okay, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, this Indian guy has to... Uh, let's try over here. Yeah, to serve as a, a bit of a flank. Alright, okay, so rather promising beginning, but can all crashing down just like that. Yeah, this guy is dead. Indian guy is dead. Oh no, he survives. Surprising. This guy might be dead. No. Uh, both pretty tough. Oh no, I drove around. Alright. Maybe it's not a good idea after all. <laughs> no, it's not a good idea after all. Good. Oh, he's gone. Now, I should target this guy. Should I? Yeah, I should. Okay. Yeah, just target one guy. Pump them as best as possible. Oh, uh, come on, get this track. Please, RNG, please. Please, RNG. Ah. ah, RNG. Damn you. Oh, this guy can actually go through all this? He ignores the zone of defense or something? Interesting. Can I do that? The gamble, though. Okay, let's see what's up there first. Alright, Gamble. Who cares? Yeah, it worked. Holy crap, it worked. Alright, see what's gonna happen. Kinda spread apart. Yeah, 46. Not gonna work. Or at least I brought the other guys down. Uh, away from the configuration. Alright, so... Alright. Now I'm gonna destroy this guy. Come on, get destroyed. Nice, okay, that's good. Uh, and this guy will try to... Well, I mean the road is open now. The road is open. And this guy will... Just rush, rush, rush. Alright, let's whittle them down once again. Um, no, not that way. Okay, it doesn't work that way, doesn't it? Uh, can I go through them? No, I can't. Alright, I wasted that movement. Damn it. Doesn't matter. Oh man. Shh. 
shoot, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I just want them. Oh no. Alright. Okay. Last turn for Brilliant. Could have been Brilliant. Oh wow. They're out of. Hopefully out of ammo. Alright. Indian's holding tough. Yeah. Oh boy. Nice. Wow. Okay, it's overrun. Possibly, yes. Okay, that's what I wanted. And, uh, yeah, just aim at this guy. He's being destroyed soon or sooner or later. Uh, who's this guy? German? Germans! That's Germans! Yeah, you're right in my crosshair, sir. Oh, this is going swell. Very nice. Uh, swimmingly, um, maybe not. But I need to protect the artillery. Like all my life. Get. Yeah, don't get overrun. I think the, the tank we have something to say about that. Um, well, if this guy comes out, then my tank will do the job. Alright, uh, so Germans, Germans, Germans everywhere. It yeah, doesn't matter. Germans gonna take all they want. I just want that point. Just want that point. No. You move down. Alright. This is a cauldron. There's nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Oh, jeez. This is overrun, then... Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. Hopefully that does not come to pass. And here we go. Cannot aim at any of these guys except for this guy. Three. No, no, it's not enough. One and one? Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, you can do it. Don't get destroyed. Oh, man, somebody's gonna get overrun. Ah, oh, damn it! Last turn. Oh my god, I don't think I can make it. Damn it. Damn it, not again. Shot six shot. Not again. I should have it with this guy. And also, ah, just ah. Well, since you cannot, we can make it though. You can make it. So if I push with the guys, I can make with. Uh, I think I cannot make with these guys. Uh, this is in the end. So yeah. I wish I could save this, but in any of you, this is Germans, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. Of course. Damn it. Come on, RNG. Please push him away. Push, 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 push him away. Come on, RNG. Oh, not even enough to do anything. Alright.
It was close, but no cigar. Should move the artillery a bit farther up. Alright, one more. Alright, so I guess the last time it kind of worked. Uh, bringing the guy south. But I need to be careful with these guys. So I just bring this guy up here and... Perhaps, uh, can I move this guy down here? Yeah, I can. Bring one guy down. Okay, I can bring one guy here. And bring the artillery here. And I'll bring... Oh, okay, I can bring another guy here and artillery here. And all the rest of you guys join the tanks. It's gonna work this time. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Man, yeah, so these guys are taking the loot, huh? Alright. That's good. Alright, alright. No sign of German armor yet. Okay, yeah, let's whittle it down. Three, not bad. Okay, during three. Seven and two. That's good. Overrun attack, nice. Now let's leave this guy for now. And attack the recon here. The pesky recon. I think I can bring these two guys down on the Italian. That's good. Uh yeah. Shoot in this place. Go down south. And okay. Alright. And can I destroy it? No, not yet. Okay, cool. Now I can destroy it. Now. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so Recon can just see what is up here. It don't need to go farther. Move the engineers and the rest of the artillery. Uh, yeah, outside the range, right? Okay. Uh, maybe the tank is gonna come, but I don't see any tank here, so. Uh, yeah, get out of range. Possibly. Like this, okay, I guess that works. No, I don't like that. I like it more here. Oh, uh, yeah, reveal another one. And up in the north. The tank can do some damage against the... Uh, uh, can you? No, you cannot reach the artillery yet, but it can do some damage against this guy. Boom, boom. 4-1. Please. Okay, I can overrun it. Good. Alright, nice. And... Uh, let me just move these guys here. Um, I'm kind of worried about this, guys, so I just leave it be. And I just, yeah, use this to maybe destroy the artillery, hopefully. Yeah, nice, yeah, we're doing really well. I want to save this. I don't know. Uh, just stay right there, yeah, stay there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, no. Don't get crushed. No, don't get crushed. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Ah, oh, shoot. Damn it. I don't care. What's going to happen? Just... just that. Just one of the most critical... 
Ah, no, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. That is irreplaceable. It's gonna like, give us the real big problems. Uh, but I need to make do with it. Right. Doesn't matter anymore. Let's just try to separate them as much as possible. These two tanks away from the configuration right here. Oh man. Should have known. Too concentrated. Oh no, okay, fine. Four and four. I'll be able to destroy them anyways. Yeah, they're separated somewhat, so I guess in a way that's good. The engineer is tough. Uh, yeah. Okay, they're gone. Okay, good, good. Uh, and this guy can target this guy. About the tank. Yeah. Good. The pesky pioneer is gone, so I can just attack with the Indians. Let's go up. The Indians will be ready. The Indians will be ready. No, not there. Um, just try to pull off a rear guard protection. Here, I guess. Okay. Okay. Indians. Um, here. Indians will stand pat. Here. Okay. So general area. Controlling the general area. The director is gone, so let's just go full bore on these guys. Yeah, I have to destroy this guy this turn. Uh, I can get yeah, a turn here. Hopefully, he's going to destroy it. I'll run it. I'll run it. Nice. Okay. Okay. The Indians will yeah try to get that recon the next turn. Converging on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So am I? Here is really vulnerable. But I don't think Tanker will be able to make it in one turn, right? I don't think so. So if they actually go and then try to take it, they place a Pioneer or something there. Yeah, oh, no. I get killed. Okay, okay. I need the armor. Oh my god. Alright, let's target everything. Yeah. All the artillery will just don't matter, I'm just... Nice, nice! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, push him away. Yes! Nice, something is different this time. Something is very different. Yeah, okay. Four, yeah, wow, that artillery there is just amazingly powerful. Doesn't matter, let's just keep attacking. Okay, so how many turns do we have? Okay, last turn. For this. I have a different plan. No, I don't think it's gonna work, but. Okay, let's do that. Oh, not bad. Around this. Okay. 
23, maybe if you push him away. 23. Nope. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I'm happy with the victory. Just the you know, tactical victory that is. Yeah. Push him. Ah, oh, man, is there any other unit? No. This one? No, not that one. Fine, let's see what happens. This is the closest I've gotten. Oh, it's a tank. Takes precedence. What happened there? <laughs> Overrun or something? Alright, last turn. Let's try to swamp this guy. All concentrate fire on him. Anybody here? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just too much. Hilarious. Okay, great. Two and three. Indian, yeah, okay. Alright, everybody invited to the party. Uh, at least this guy has to capture it. Alright. Is this enough? No, I just do it. It's not fail. Come on. Alright, okay. So, oh, one turn left and I'll be able to finally achieve a victory here. Nice. Tactical victory. Yeah. Man, this was pretty hard. I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> but the strategy, I guess, that involves in beating Cauldron is... I mean, this is not a good strategy because it was only able to achieve tactical victory. But go with the artilleries taking the southern road with armor, the northern road. And do not try to lead the northern part with armor first. Um, get the armor behind the Indians first. While in the south, get all the artillery is on the road. So do not veer off the road at all with the artillery. It has to stay on the road because it has to make the trip to the last two points. If you split off the forces, then it has a good chance of also splitting off the Rommel's armor. Then it's going to be very easy for you to use your infantry numerical advantage and try to pick them apart one by one. I could have achieved tactical victory in a couple of previous attempts at the mission, but I just was really short. Um, yeah, I don't really have any good idea how to achieve um, brilliant victory here. Yeah, what I used was maybe try to use all my forces, go up north, and then you know change the tactic, basically uh, focus on the southern road, but if you do that, it's going to get too clogged and it's not going to work out, so divide the force. I don't know, maybe you can try to bring up the artillery along the northern road, but I don't know if it's gonna work because the German armor um, starts from the north as they make their way south. So it's better, I think, to bring the artillery on the road, the southern road, and then try to hit back with a numerical advantage. So, I mean, artilleries are there. I mean, they're one powerful artillery that is definitely the most threatening against your infantry, against the, uh, your Indians. But if you just rush them, it's going to be able to target one, so I think that is a good tactic. Just place the artillery as fast as possible and use the infantry to distract the artillery and other tanks. Uh, it's not gonna work all the time, maybe if it's successful it's going to achieve just a tactical victory like this, but I think if one gets efficient enough, I might be able to achieve a victory or even if they're really lucky, be able to destroy German armor or two German armors on the same turn. Um, then they'll be in a really good spot to achieve a brilliant victory in four turns. I don't know, this seems impossible, but it's obviously there because someone was able to achieve it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this scenario once again. For well, Cauldron, I went up against um, Romo. I don't know who I was supposed to be, I didn't check that dossier. Uh, probably Montgomery was in charge of 8th Army or something, or maybe he did later on, but I mean, this performance. Um, really didn't demonstrate the might of the British Empire in any, 
in a favorable light. So maybe the guy who was in charge was replaced by the by the general who was going to go and become a field marshal for the Commonwealth forces or British Empire forces. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the next scenario, I'm maybe I think next scenario also I'll be going back to the German side and do the Windsor 1942 mission. Uh, which is the mission I would have received if I were very successful in, um, in uh, what is it, um, what was that, right after Sedan, Dunkirk? Yeah, if I was, if I achieved brilliant victory, uh, I would be right away sent to invade British Isles. Uh, Operation, what's it called, the Sea Lion? Two years before, it happened in my original playthrough of the campaign. Uh, Basically the same map, but different units. Of course, I don't know whether the Americans are involved, but... So that would be pretty fun with uh, all these kind of old Panzer tanks romping through the British countryside. Uh, I mean, the original campaign, I had a lot of Tiger tanks and artilleries that... I don't know if I achieved a tactical victory there, but I think I did. I don't think I achieved a, a brilliant victory there, even with the Tiger tanks. But yeah, it's going to be even harder, I believe, so... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> The hard scenarios are where it's at, so I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, please stay tuned.